So uh, you have a birthday coming this week. I am turning 36 on Thursday at 532 p.m. because I was never a morning person. So we're the same age now. Well, not yet. Not until Thursday. But almost. Almost. For another like six months or so. We're being all grown up and shit. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, I still work in a mall. Well, yeah, it's that's a grown up thing, though. Grown ups work in malls. Yeah, I suppose. If grown ups didn't work in malls, it'd be like what toddlers running the place. It's nope. not. <laughs> you haven't met my managers. Retail management. Well, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Everybody's saying you look like you're in your mid twenties. Oh, thanks, guys. It's all the unicorn blood I sleep in. I sleep in Tupperware that's filled with this mixture of argan oil and unicorn blood, and the tears of virgins works like a charm. Like Michael Jackson. No, that was a hyperbaric chamber full of like monkey sweat or something. Oh, okay, yeah, that's different. All right, are you ready to do this? Oh, Tara, we have a leg crosser this week. A leg crosser for who? For the guys. Oh, well, yeah, then let's go do this. <laughs> We're going to get to that one. We got we to gotta build up to that one. Because, wow, we have some other interesting things. Um, Each week, Catherine goes out in the world wide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment <laughs> we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And let's let's ease into the horror, shall we? And I say that I say easing into it ever so loosely. Um, this comes to us from uh, Louisiana, our first one. And uh, <laughs> let me send it on over because we're we're just we're starting out. You know, it's it's precious. Drunken naked man serenades. Gretna police officers, and you're thinking, oh, okay, he was naked. That's just a no, it wasn't just that. Gretna police officer responded to reports of a naked man, found their bare bottom suspect staggering down Huey P. Long Boulevard. But when they asked him to close himself, Huey P. Long, <laughs> the man instead broke into song <laughs> and began to masturbate. Please so change. was he singing Turning Japanese or Shebop or I Touch Myself? I mean, that's a little on the nose. Uh, they didn't recognize the tune he wore, but whirled by Os Osmar Hernandez, 33. Uh, but it was quite clear his trip down performance was fueled by alcohol. Uh, said a resident uh, called 911 on Friday about 930 and complained about a naked pedestrian who appeared to be masturbating. Officers found the man, later identified as uh, Hernandez. Uh, he was nude from the waist down and was holding his shorts. He allegedly ignored the order to put his shorts on and began mas masturbate while singing. So, I just, was, uh, was he nude or just not wearing pants? There's a difference. I think he, they say naked. Just carrying his shorts. Because then later it says nude from the waist down. Well, okay. That that pretty on guys that pretty much qualifies as naked because everything from the waist up, nothing's going on there. Okay. I really want to know what he was singing. I feel kind of ripped off that that's not included in the story. <coughs> Why? Is, Excuse me. I still have a cough from this cold from weeks ago. Sorry. How in the? Why it? What I am, what, what's really kind of getting to me is, um, you've heard the term whiskey dick, right? Yes. Okay, not only does this guy drunk, but he's able to jerk off in public and sing. No performance anxiety there. No shit. Why isn't he in porno? Get this guy on America's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Obviously, okay. he's got talent. Slice Smoke says uh, he must have been singing It's a Small World After All. DJ Scott says he sang Pop Goes the Weasel and a clown popped out. 
Is whiskey dick really a thing? Yes. Really? Drink too much and you're pushing rope. Okay, no comment. Well, it's it's a relaxant. That's it's a depressant and a muscle relaxant. That's what alcohol is. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't <laughs> get into conversations I don't want to get into on the internet. I'll take your word. For leave it. that one where it lies. Yes. We'll take yes. the bogey. Come out under par. All right. Well, that's yeah, we're going to take a drop. Yeah, I, that's that's not the only one tonight. Um, uh, do we have other? Well, that was one debating serenaders. No, uh, we, the, the second part is wrong is wrong. Um, this one comes to us from California and wow, uh, from Santa Cruz, man drops drawers during fight challenge. A uh, 24 year old Santa Cruz man was arrested Saturday after a police got a call complaining the drunken man was being disruptive and challenging people to fight. OK, now you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, his pants fell down. That's that's funny, but it's not all that weird. Well, no. Uh, he encountered an opponent who took up his challenge to fight when the man didn't back down. He dropped his pants, exposing himself. And then inserted a finger into his own rectum. So apparently he was really challenging people to prostate exams. <laughs> what? This is. Is this some kind of martial art I'm not familiar with? I mean, I. Was he trying to stink palm the guy? <laughs> like, you know what? Never mind. Let's just shake on it. Well, maybe it's one of those, you know, he's so crazy. He'll shove a finger up his own ass. Let's not fight him. I have known people that use that as a survival tactic, and it's really effective. <laughs> I knew a kid in high school who got a lot of trouble from bullies and stuff, and he just started showing up for school, like in the full costume from a clockwork orange with like random camo painted on his face for a day. And they stopped fucking with him because <laughs> it got to the point where they were like, you know what? There's more of us, but he will eat our kidneys. Yes. I think that's kind of, you know, it just why did. <sighs> That is a legitimate survival tactic. But that can't it's have not a great fight. Like, if you're looking to avoid getting in a fight, that's a good tactic. If you're the one starting fights, it's kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. I just, it... Why? It, and not only that, I don't see anywhere in this article the word lube. Well, he probably like. OK, all right. That's a uh, little more information than I needed right there. I mean, obviously, he didn't have a McDonald's hash brown on him, so <laughs> you do what you got to do. Oh, good God, woman. All right, gentlemen, brace yourselves. Um, we've had lots of incidents on the show of people doing horrible, horrible things to their junk. It just seems to be part of the human condition. However, it shouldn't be. It should I mean, like evolutionarily speaking, it shouldn't be. That should right. be the opposite. Right. Well, this one. It's got two words. Three words, I think, in, in this headline that should never it stopped at two words and I immediately went to um, which wrestler that it used to be. I got two words for you. Was that Stone Cold? Suck it. Well, my two words are penis implants. Oh, specifically the problem with do it yourself penis oh. implants. Oh, and you're, I know what you guys might be thinking. Oh, I don't like what there is a picture of there. Yes. <coughs> I know what I don't you guys, like that visual aid at all. I know what you might be thinking, but it's actually worse. Researchers, at the University of New South Wales uh, Institute for Infection and Immunity um, 
who developed a questionnaire to determine sexual risk behaviors in Australian prisoners, forensic nurses told them about an odd phenomenon. In the last few years, they had seen several cases of male prisoners with skin infections on their genitals. These infections were a consequence of foreign bodies having been inserted under the skin of the penis. Nobody knew how widespread this was, or the researchers added two questions to the survey, asking the prisoners if they had ever inserted or implanted an object under the skin of their penis, and if they had, was it something they did while in prison? Um... Can we just read this poll quote? Sure. One of the men, a 25 year old from a Texan prison, placed a heart carved out of a domino through an incision into his mid dorsal foreskin that he made with the tip of a ballpoint pen. How many different ways is that not sterile? Just why? Like, I, I just, why? Is it like decorative? Because it, it's a, like they carved it into a shape. So I have to assume it's like a decorative thing. Like you've got to be able to find. I mean, th- 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 you've got to have a better hobby than this. You know, Andy Dufresne, he, he, he was he did the rock things. Remember that the rock things? No, the rock hammer. Shawshank Redemption? Oh, come on. Are we really going to be surprised when I say I haven't seen that movie? No, no, we're not. We're really not going to be. I mean, yes, I've seen a movie where a snowman fucks a chick with his own carrot nose, but I haven't seen Shawshank Redemption. Of course, if if this guy had been in that prison, Andy Dufresne would have carved something to shove up his penis, I I guess. But... I'm still trying to figure out, like, when did prison tattoos become not enough? I know! What? Is this like, you know, one step beyond? Like, I saw something last year about guys that are tattooing their eyeball in prison. Like, the whites of their eyes, they're tattooing. And I'm like, you don't inject ink into your eyeball. You need those for seeing. Okay, here's a fun one for the channel. Gentlemen... Which would you rather have, a tattoo on your eyeball or something inserted under the skin of your dick? I want to see how many people actually, they're, they're, come, they're going to come out honestly and say, I'd go with the eyeball. Eyeball, there we go, everybody's... They all seem to be going eyeball. Eyeball. <laughs> I can't do eye stuff like even in a movie like one of my friends told me never to see the movie Saw and I haven't only because I hear there's a scene where someone has to like dig he out of either their own eyeball or someone else's and I I wouldn't be able to handle it. One I guy, just, oh no. One guy said he'd rather eat his own feet. That wasn't an option but okay. Good to know. What happened on Dollhouse. Ah, oh, God. They damn. turned his own legs into sushi. All I can tell this, this, this Australian prison, get these men direct TV. They need Are, something to do. Aren't they not supposed to have sharp things in prison? Well, apparently they just rub plastic against uh, uh, stone and it becomes a sharp thing. Mm. But a ballpoint pen. Yep. Why are you sticking a ballpoint pen into your dick? And then shoving stuff in the hole. That's a question for the ages, right? There is nothing about that process that's okay. Like, as I understand it, aside from very specific piercings and the occasional emergency catheter, the penis is an exit-only apparatus. Mm, Yes. So don't don't, stick things in it. (laughs) This next one is, all right, it's kind of sad, but with a happy ending. However, it's also really, really stupid. Um, Life imitates South Park. Oh, they're, what? No good Gay thing come from dog that. saved from euthanization. A male American... Did you have George Clooney's voice? A male American bulldog was saved from euthanization. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. After the dog's original owner turned him over to animal control because he said he was gay. 
Owner apparently took the dog to the Jackson Rabies Control Animal Shelter after he saw him mounting another dog. Um, his owner says he's gay. He hunched over another male dog, so his owner threw him away because he refuses to have a, quote, gay dog. A woman named Steffrey Friends, who's connected to the No Kill Shelter, uh, posted on Facebook her plans to adopt the dog. Uh, earlier this morning, she posted, I managed to get here before the AC officers even... Here's the thing. If, as Bob Barker always reminded us, you spay and neuter your pets the way you're supposed to, it doesn't fucking matter. And any- it's like it's like gay clergy. They take a law, of, they take a vow of celibacy anyway. Who cares who they're not fucking? Oh, wait, I'm going to go a little far here. And, and and just follow me on this one. Okay, so they, lots of people maintain that being gay is just a choice and you can choose not to be gay and it's mm -hmm. all, you know, you just, it's just what you, it's it's all in your head. Even little Stan bought that. But this is a dog and the dog doesn't speak English. So if you are, if you are in fact claiming this dog is gay, this is an animal that could not make a conscious choice. So it would be, you know, Genetic, so you're kind of defeating your own argument there. However, I also want to point out, it's a dog. I know you didn't mean to, but it sounds like you're making the assertion that the dog can't make conscious choices because he doesn't speak English. Yes. And I'm pretty sure there are like millions of people in the world that make conscious choices every day without well, they speak the English some language. kind of language, like whole nations of them. I'm just saying. They speak some kind of language. Well, yes, but you specified English, and I just don't want us to be xenophobic. <laughs> it's important that we're politically correct on this show. After all this time, are we really going to the standards of political correctness? I mean, come on. Haven't we always? <sighs> this is an upright and proper type of show. Anyway, if you're a big enough homophobe that you're afraid of having a dog that's gay... Just go down to the seedy part of town and pay a pretty dude 50 bucks to let you blow him and be done with it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of going a bit too far. It's I mean, you want to talk about latent feelings? I can't handle my dog humping other boy dogs. Holy crap, just get yourself buggered up the ass and move on. It's a bulldog. It doesn't care about your politics. It doesn't care about gay marriage. All he cares about is food, sleep, and ball. And yeah, the, like, but like, don't dogs just pretty much hump anything that moves anyway? Yeah, if you don't, if you don't cut the nuts off, yeah, they're just humping like a motherfucker. Yeah, like if it doesn't manage to run away, they're gonna hump. So I thought, this guy's a moron and probably a closet case. Closet case, yes. Our last two stories, like last week, are I can't decide which is, I don't know, want to say worse here because both of these are the balls on this guy stories. Um, we're going to start. And, Do the uh, balls have ballpoint pens through them? No. Because. No, 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 no. no. Uh, this one's from Alabama. This guy. Wow. <laughs> Police say man steals ambulance, then tries to steal horses. Uh, Matthew Anderson Todd, 24, stole an ambulance Friday, tried to steal two horses, and also stole two cars. Please say it again. All at once? All at once. <laughs> Please say Todd was arrested for DUI after a car crash. He was taken to the uh, medical Mar uh, Marshall Medical Center South for treatment. Police say while at the hospital, he walked out, got into a running ambulance, and drove away. They say later he got the ambulance stuck on Barnard Street. That was just the beginning. Walked across the pasture, got into a barn where he tried to saddle up two horses. One was too wild for him, and the other appeared to be too intoxicated for him to properly saddle. Or he appeared to be too... Uh, yeah, that's a really poorly constructed yeah. sentence. Uh, police Although, say it would be a lot more fun if the horse was too intoxicated to be saddled. I think it's just shitty writing. Police say Anderson then stole a car, which he crashed. He then stole another car and got away. 
Uh, however, on Saturday, he started bleeding from his original injuries. He then sought treatment back at the hospital, was recognized and arrested. <laughs> how did he just <laughs> walk out? I don't know how the, how the inmate just walk out. They thought he was a different guy, like, I guess. He just walked out. Yep. And stole anything that was any form of transportation. Yeah, anything that wasn't tied down. <laughs> he got the ambulance and he would have kept going. Had he done. I'm, am I'm glad he didn't get one of the horses. He could have found a way to crash a horse. Is riding a horse while intoxicated a crime? I don't know. Yes. Well, apparently it is riding a horse while drunk is is a crime. Endangering oh. an animal. Uh, OK. I mean. This, just saying. This guy, man. Yeah. I mean, you got to admire his gumption. <laughs> no fucks were asked, nor were they given. I mean, he certainly isn't a giver upper. I admire his his, you know, his ingenuity and his, you know, his. Yeah, like, but maybe it would have worked better. Had he been able to pilot any of the things he attempted to steal? Yeah. And maybe go to a different hospital. <laughs> than the one you escaped police custody from. Like that whole cliche about always returning to the scene of the crime. That's not a requirement. Yes. Well, guess I have to go back now. It's been long it, enough. It's not. You don't have to go back. You could go to another hospital. You could go to the free clinic. You know. Of course, I guess if you're that drunk and bashed up, you're probably not thinking clearly. <clears throat> this next story, um... I don't think I could saddle a horse sober, let alone drunk. Speaking of fucks, uh, we checked in the back and we are officially all out of fucks at this point. Uh oh, um, we're not getting a shipment in for quite a while. We're completely out of fucks to give. Um, why you can't dredge any care from give a fuck bay for us? Uh, since no? since you're a, you work in a mall, I think you're going to appreciate this one, Tara. Uh oh, Timothy like Carr. Brooksville man accused of driving drunk inside a Walmart. Police in Brooksville say they've arrested a man who was driving drunk inside a Walmart. He was drunk and drove around the store on a motorized shopping cart. Now that can't be illegal. He then removed an alcoholic beverage from a shelf and was drinking it oh, okay. while he knocked other items off the shelves. That's probably illegal. According to the report, called to car told police he didn't have enough money to pay for the alcohol. He also said he's a transient. He had two previous arrests for retail theft, made the current arrest for felony. He's charged with disorderly intoxication and felony retail theft. And the, just to, the, the icing on the cake, look at this guy. Yeah. Smiling. Like, he's like, yep, hey, what's up? I did it. And. Every now and then in the mall where I work, they, they do like. Whether it's for a sweepstakes or a local car dealership advertising, they like drive. They have like a bunch of cars in the middle of the mall. And we always sit there and we wonder like one. That we know of, there isn't an entrance big enough to get those into the mall. Unless they're bringing them in through like the Sears service station and driving all the way through. We, we've never quite worked that out Two, every now and then the alarms in those cars go off. <laughs> and they echo. Oh, how they echo. Oh, my God, they do. And we're like, one, you can't shut off the fucking alarm on that thing. Two, who's trying to steal a car <laughs> that's in the middle of the mall? Because it's not like just if you bump into it. Like, because I've mm. like everybody bumps into those cars 400 times a day. They're in the middle of the fucking mall. Women use their shoulders as battering rams. It's going to happen. So. Someone's trying to get into that fucking car. And it's like, what's your end game there? Hope 
the keys are in it and drive the car out of the mall where no one will notice? <laughs> I, I, I think Obsidian kind of wins here. Attention, Walmart shoppers. Run for your lives. What's the line from Dogma? <laughs> Please evacuate. This is not a drill. This is the apocalypse. Oh, this is the one blues. Yeah, that's what I was thinking immediately too. People in the channel are going Blues Brothers, the live action game. There really is a lot of space in this Walmart. Yes, I know the cars. Someone points out the cars in the mall don't have gas in them. That only supports my point. What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to put it in neutral and push it out. Like, why are you trying like you are get there are so many ways you're getting nowhere in the cars at the mall. But every now and then somebody tries to fucking steal one, probably for the same reason somebody molested our mall Santa a couple years ago because it's a bunch of savages in this town. <laughs> Easter Bunny did this. He's fucking dead. Somebody molested our Santa. Somebody grabbed Santa's candy cane. Wow. Somebody our age. Oh. Yeah. But this guy, I can just, all right, I pictured in my head, yes, he made a mess. Yes, he was drunk, and that's not what the scooters are there for. But I can just imagine in my mind just the joyous fun he was having, just lazily rolling up and down the aisle, happily waving, honking the little horn, <laughs> knocking shit off the shelves. It's like if the... If it's like if the dude was a disenfranchised, homeless, transient, just like you're hearing like low rider. He's just cruising around in his bathrobe and you watch the beverage. And you know what? The, the, the <laughs> security guy at the Walmart at this point, he's probably just saying, God damn it. I did not sign up for this. No, and I'm confident he doesn't get paid enough for it. I thought there'd be shoplifters, maybe yeah. a fight or something. That's the worst. I didn't count on drunking McDrunkerstein doing the just, Walmart 500. Just cruising. <sighs> so, yeah, I guess what we now I have Snoop Dogg's gin and juice stuck in my head. <laughs> Rolling down the street. Something, 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 sipping on gin and juice. Now you gotta play that. This guy. All right, I guess what we learned this week is um, there is no place to hide from drunk drivers. No. They're inside now, too. Like, you can't drive, like, don't drive near a pizza place because pizza is the all car absorbing magnetic force of the universe. But it doesn't matter. Don't drive anywhere because everybody's fucking drunk and naked and jacking off. It's like the end of the fucking world, <laughs> isn't it? Everybody's drunk, didn't, naked and jacking off. That sounds like the end of the world to me. Didn't we survive the end of the world? I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. Weren't the Mayans wrong? Were they just off by one? <laughs> and is this really how humanity goes out? In a series of masturbatory, naked, drunk driving incidents, is this our great end? We don't even get a nuclear war. Let's not forget the genital gangrene. Because the other thing oh we learned God. this week. Don't stick things in your dick. We need to, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking of, you ever seen Skippy's Rules? I miss the days when it was just no one wants to see your dick. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Do you, have you ever seen Those were such innocent times. Have you ever seen Skippy's rules for the army? You ever seen that? It's a rule of things that he this one soldier is not allowed to do anymore. We need that for penises now. Not allowed to pull it out in public. Not yeah. allowed to pull it out in front of grandma. Not allowed to put things inside it. Don't put... Ugh. We, we, we're going to have to have... You know what? Someone, if you're really bored, go back through the weeks and weeks and weeks of the live episodes, find every single penis instance and write the penis rules, because I think we, we we're at the point we kind of need it. Maybe we can help someone. Oh, uh, we learned this week that um, if dogs are gay, your argument is invalid. Yeah, yeah, that that's how that works. Especially because all dogs go to heaven. 
True! My, oh my god! Mine blown! Boom! Take that, Christian Wright. Boom! Wow. That... Fuck yeah. <laughs> we also learned this week that... Whenever someone comes at you in public without their pants Can we not on. say that with the masturbatory theme going on? <laughs> <laughs> Can we use approaches instead? Yes, whatever because someone... on this show, when someone comes at you in public could mean a couple of different things. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> so when someone approaches you in public without their pants <laughs> on, any number of outcomes could happen. They might sing you a little song... Or they might stick their finger up their butt. You don't know. Or they might make themselves a pot pie and chill out in your living room. Like, it could go a lot of different ways. I'm just... It, why? Of all the things to do... You know, I, I used to remember when guys trying to show they were badasses, they would like... <coughs> chew glass or break a bottle over their head or like the, remember that guy in lethal weapon with his arm they lit it on fire you know he's like i never saw i would just like to point out the incredible difference in ratio of these types of stories between men and women oh yeah women it's like a rarity every once y'all are blue obsessed moon. with your own fucking tackle obsessed i And the thing is, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Half the population also has one. They're not interested in yours because they've got their own to be obsessed with. The other half of the population, kind of sick of hearing about it. When we want it, we will let you know. When we want to see it, touch it, do anything else to it. Ah, uh, 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 not when, if. If, 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 if. We will make that clear. We don't need you to proactively foist it upon us in public. Anywhere, really. I'm still stuck on when did shoving your finger up your butt become a sign of ma of being, you know, a badass? Yeah. How is that the way you start? Off? Maybe it was like I could fight you with one hand tied behind my back, <laughs> but I don't have any rope. So I'm just going to have to fight you with one hand shoved up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and a new sport was born. <laughs>